Hello and welcome to the short video where I will explain how to go about user acceptance testing for your branded site. With the enhanced description, we have customized your pages. Prior launching your new site live, you need to review the testing pages where we ask you to do the user acceptance testing or in other words to check whether the pages customization is done as you desired. When you fill the form, you can customize the URL, color, logo, favicon, and texts. We ask you to test the pages you will be provided with the testing URL. This is not your live site. This is a site where you can review the branding and request the changes. Please note that in order to access the site, you'll need to click through the SSL warning to view your demo sites. Please note that all data on this page is temporary and will be removed periodically, so do not start putting together new templates and guidance on this site. Everything you will do on live site that's dmponline.dcc.ac.uk will be applied to your new branded site with your new URL. For the UAT, you will need to test all except the URL. In practice, this means that you need to test the following. The first are the colors, the second is the logo and favicon, and the third are the text. In this video, we are using the example of customized test pages for the University of Edinburgh. I'll guide you through what to pay attention to when testing these pages. Let's start with the first one, which are the colors. In the form, you have most likely specified your institutional branding primary and secondary color. When testing your branded pages, Make sure whether the colors appear as desired. So look at the following. Is the color correct? Does the primary and secondary color appear as wished? Do the colors appear well when you hover and click through tabs? The University of Edinburgh specified color that goes around the tabs. Does this appear correctly? Is the color of the text and links correct? Now let's move to checking the logo and favicon. When looking at these two, ask yourself the following question. Is the logo correct? Is the position of the logo correct? For example, is it not upside down? Is the size of the logo correct? Have you provided us with the correct color of the logo with the provided background on your customized pages? And also check the favicon which appears here. Is this the correct image? In our example, we can see that we have not customized the favicon here yet and we can still see the DMP online logo here. Let's move now to the UAT for the texts. You can customize the following static pages. Home page, help, about, and contact. If you have decided to customize any of these pages, please go through them in detail and check the following. Are there any spelling mistakes? If you edit any links into the text, click through every link and check whether the link works and whether it lands on the page where you wanted your users to be directed to. Also check whether the color of the links is correct, whether the layout of the text is correct, are there any gaps between the text you need it or any of the text should appear bigger or smaller. Is the color of the text itself correct? Is the layout correct?
Do we need to change anything about the layout? By doing these steps, we'll ensure that your pages will be ready to go live and all will appear and work as needed. If you find any mistakes during the UAT, please get in touch with us at dmponline at dcc.ac.uk and tell us the following. The page where you found the mistake. What is the issue about? Is this a wrong link, wrong color, wrong layout, size or anything else? And send us the correct link or picture or the correct layout, size or color. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any further thoughts about how to improve the UAT, please get in touch with us at dmponline at dcc.ac.uk. Thank you and goodbye.